Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the free agency market in 2022. Dude, my old video sucked. How did this have 57 likes? You know what? Doesn't matter. I'm here to remake this video anyway, so start the day back up. Well, saying a lot has changed since our first early season video would be an understatement. Like seriously, we all sort of knew 2311 was interested in a second driver. But who in the hell thought it would be Kurt Busch? And of course, we were aware of Kislowski's contract situation, but no way he would join Roush, right? <laughs> well, it's about to get real. Probably gonna be on Radioactive for that one. But before all of that, we have a word from our first sponsor. Today's episode is brought to you by the Quick Pit Podcast, the podcast run by two NASCAR fans with new episodes every single week. With race recaps, news updates, previews, predictions, and more, you won't want to miss a single week of their show. They also had their fair share of guests on the show, including NASCAR drivers like Bailey Curry and Raphael Assard. Even content creators like Gary Owen, and for the first time, me as well. That's right, stay tuned next week for my guest appearance on the Quick Pit Podcast, streaming every Thursday on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and everything in between. Check them out in the description down below. Now, let's get back to our video. 2311 and Bubble Wallace are struggling to say the least. Their main competition and track house raising is outperforming them in every way possible. But that isn't stopping its owners and Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan himself from searching for a second driver. From what we know so far, 2311 owns one chartered but they want to acquire a second one. If they don't manage to do so, Denny Hamlin has confirmed the fact that they aren't worried about running without one. Their current and only driver is Bubba Wallace, and based on the rumors that have been thrown around, they have taken into consideration veterans and rookies alike. Based on the news that have been thrown around lately, and on the state of the team, I think Kurt Busch will drive the number 32 2311 Monster Energy Toyota Camry. This has been talked about a lot, and it is a safe prediction to make. With Kurt Busch leaving Chip Ganassi, that leaves an open spot at the team. From what we know so far, CGR has two charters and would most likely prefer to run them both next year. With Kurt leaving, they will need a driver with a lot of sponsorship to fill Monster Energy's gap, someone like Graxon or Brendan Jones. However, both of these drivers are underperforming this year in Xfinity, so it's debatable if they are even close to being cup ready. For that reason, I predict Chip Ganassi will sell the chart of the number one car, focusing just on the 42 of Chastain. One last thing I want to mention about CGR is a possible manufacturer change coming from the team. No, it's not Toyota and it's not Ford. It's gonna be Honda. The reason I'm even saying this is because recently, Brett Griffin, one of the hosts of the Door Bumper Clear podcast, mentioned a rumor that was going around that involved Honda joining NASCAR. Take this with a grain of salt, of course, but this is a silly season video, and I just thought we should get even sillier. Alright, well this is gonna be short, but let me talk about it anyway. Roush Fenway is gonna have one car open next year, that being the 6. Based on what we know so far, they have two charters and are planning to continue running them next year. Ryan Newman is most likely to retire, so it's assumed they will be looking for a new driver. Based on the rumors that have been floating around and based on what we discussed previously on this channel, Brad Keselowski will drive the number 6 in a driver-owner type deal. Of course, with Keselowski going to Roush, that leaves a very competitive seat open at Team Penske. This is a championship caliber team, so it's going to be very important for them to make a good choice when it comes to filling up that two car. From what we know so far, Team Penske has three charters and is definitely going to run all three of them next season. Their current drivers are Joey Logano, Ryan Blaney and Brad Keselowski, with the latter leaving. Despite it going against their original plan of putting him in the 21 car, Austin Sindrick will drive the number 2, leaving the 21 car at the Wood Brothers all to Matt the Benedetto. What a lucky dude. The final team we will be covering in depth in this video will be Stuart Haas Racing. They have struggled this year, but they have found some very minor speed at Nashville so things are on the right path. Based on what we know so far, they currently have 4 charters and they want to continue running those exact 4 charters. Their current drivers are Kevin Harvick, Cole Custer, Chase Briscoe and Eric Almarola. Eric is in a contract year and for a good majority of the season he looked like he was going to be out for sure. Now I'm going to say Eric Almarola stays in the 10 car for one more year. This would be his last chance at a competitive ride so he would have to make sure he takes advantage of it. Now, there are a lot of teams that have had some rumors flying around that I felt weren't detailed or significant enough to warrant their own section. One of them would be Trackhouse. There were some rumors that they were planning on expanding to a second car, with Kurt Busch being their main candidate. However, with Busch going to 2311, I don't see Trackhouse investing in anyone else, especially considering they would have to get a second charter, and that seems unlikely 
since they're struggling to find just one. I wouldn't count them out of the silly season just yet, but I don't think these will be leading to anything. Another team that we have talked before on this channel is GMS. They have announced that they want to run Cup next year, but nothing else. We don't know the driver and we don't know if it's going to be full-time with a charter, full-time without one, or simply just part-time. I did mention I expect some sort of alliance with Junior Motorsports in order to let them get up the Cup, but I wouldn't count on these theories. And last but certainly not least, Colleg Racing has announced basically all of their Cup plans just last week. They have bought two charters from Spire, one full-time and one part-time. Justin Haley will be their full-time driver, with AJ Allmendinger being their part-time driver most likely being joined by the likes of Kaz Grala and Jeb Burden. We already know what this team is planning, so not much else to say here. Alright everyone, that will be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That would help me out a lot. If you would like to join my Discord server and follow me on Twitter, there will be links to that in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.